Okay, here we go. For this first project, I picked up this very cute picture hanger with this really nifty little stand on the back. I got this from Dollar Tree. I also picked up some of these really, really cute distressed letters from Walmart. I'm going to be using Waverly white chalk paint and Craft Smart acrylic paint in black and light pink. Craft Smart brand, I think, is from Michaels, but it was just what I had in my cabinet. So I'll start by removing the clip at the top. And then I'm going to paint the top and the bottom panels with the black acrylic paint. I'm careful not to get any paint into the crack because I want this space between my colors. So this lower panel actually ended up needing two coats of black paint just to cover up that wording. Next I am painting the middle panel with Waverly white chalk paint. As you can see Waverly chalk paint is actually really has great coverage and it's really inexpensive so it's a pretty awesome brand for crafting. Now I am painting the letters with the light pink color since this is a Valentine's Day project. After they dried, I distressed the letters to my liking. I love distressing. Next, I am arranging the letter how I like and I hot glue them down. Now on to project number two. Project number two is also super quick and simple. I swooped up this love sign from Dollar Tree and it's just so nice for a dollar store piece. It just needs a little bit of paint. I also had these flowers that I got from Michaels on clearance. I think they were about $1.99 or $2.99, something like that. And I'm just in love with the color. Anywho, I'm starting by dry brushing the entire sign with Waverly chalk paint in the color white. <laughs> Here is a zoomed in view for those of you who want a close up view of this technique. I literally spread the paint out as much as possible. You can see that I press the sponge down on the surface to try to extract any leftover paint inside the brush.
placed a dark paper behind it so you guys could kind of see the distressing look. So then after this piece dried, I've arranged the flowers to my liking and then I hot glue those puppies in place. This project is so stinking simple, it takes no time to complete. I was actually able to finish both projects during my kids' nap time, and that is like a super huge accomplishment. Overall, I love these two projects equally. Please let me know in the comments below which one you like better. I hope that you like these as much as I do. If you do, please leave this video a like and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. Also, um, have a wonderful, wonderful day. Special shout out to Terry Burton. Thank you for all your positive feedback and thank you for watching. And everyone else, have a wonderful day.